This is the story of how I got my first bug bounty payout. So if you've seen my previous two videos I did a couple of months back, I was doing CTFs around Solidity and uh, smart contract code audits. And it was around that time when I discovered the platform Code Arena. So this is sort of like a bug bounty platform, but they do things a little bit differently, which I think makes it a lot easier for beginners to get into. They organize things slightly different to a traditional bug bounty, especially how they deal with duplicate reports. So for Code Arena in their audit contest, they have guaranteed payouts. So what that means is you get a bug payout even if your finding is a duplicate. Essentially, if two people find the exact same finding, you each get half of the payout for that particular finding. And they have an algorithm which kind of calculates who gets what size share of the pot based on the findings that they submitted, uh, whether other people found the same findings that you did, and how high are the severity of your findings. So from what I've seen, contests sort of run from three days to a week, and there are a lot of low hanging fruits in the code bases based on what I've seen. So it makes things very beginner friendly if you want to start finding some bugs on this platform. You get guaranteed payouts, which sort of encourage you to do more bug bounties and slowly sort of progress your skill rather than finding nothing for a very long time and only until you get good enough you start getting payouts. Now with the structure you may think it might encourage people to sort of game the system in terms of making multiple accounts and just keep submitting the same findings so you get a larger share of the pot. I think their algorithm sort of deals with that but mainly I think it's because there's only about 200 or so people who participates on this platform at the moment, there's not that many bad actors and people are generally playing fair. And with this platform's current size and scope, it's actually working pretty well for all parties at the moment. So here are the active contests on the site at the moment. Generally, I have noticed that they run between three days to a week and the pot is usually between like 25k up to 100k. So fairly lucrative if you can find the high vulnerability bugs. This is a guaranteed payout. So essentially what this means is once this contest is over, this 100k is going to be paid out to all the participants who submitted findings during the seven days. If there are high severity findings, those findings would get the majority of the 100k. If there are no high findings, then the medium findings would get the majority of this 100k. So it's a guaranteed payout um, even if there are no high severity findings, which I think it's a great way to encourage people to participate. They've got a leaderboard here as well, and you can see the top person has almost cracked a million on this platform. I may be wrong, but I think Code Arena has been around for a little over two years or somewhere thereabouts. And most of this one million, uh, I saw a blog post by him as well. He only started focusing on this full time last year. So this may be about a year and a half worth of effort on this platform. And you can see this list of participants isn't that long. And based on a presentation that Code Arena did recently, there's only about like 200 to 300 people on this platform who has ever gotten a payout. So there's not that many people participating here and the payouts seem pretty good. Uh, in total, they've paid out, I think around 4 million so far. So overall, pretty interesting structure for a bug bounty program and the payouts seem pretty decent. Uh, the contests, they seem to be happening more often now as well. I've noticed that recently there has been a lot of concurrent contests where a few months back I was looking at it, there was only one contest running at the same time. It's super easy to participate as well. All you need to do is join this Discord channel and post I want to be a warden here and then they'll pretty much register you and sign you up. 
You don't even need to provide any of your personal details as well. You can be completely anonymous and the payouts are paid to your cryptocurrency account. So you can stay sort of pseudo anonymous on this whole platform if you wish to do so. And the way you submit findings is actually super easy. You just click this button, fill out this short form and create the issue and it seems they're pretty forgiving in how you organize your reports they pretty much give you a markdown template where you can write it up in whatever format you wish and i don't find them to be very picky in terms of how you write it up i've seen all sorts of write-ups being accepted and getting paid out for so essentially I signed up for Code Arena a couple of months back after I finished the various CTFs around Solidity. Learning the bugs and vulnerability around Solidity does take some time, but I pretty much looked through these previous reports and found a couple of low level findings that were pretty much exactly as what it was on a previous report so really low hanging fruit stuff and i was actually pretty surprised that there were so many low hanging fruits that could be found in some of these code bases i think it might be because all of these contests are fresh code bases that no one has audited in depth before so if you read through enough of these reports you'll start to see the same things cropping up over and over again and those were the types of bugs that I was looking for when I was going through an audit contest. I think for me, I only spent about 30 minutes to an hour finding those bugs in that contest because I sort of just wanted to try this platform out, see if it actually paid a decent amount and whether I could actually get a payout for these findings. So I submitted those findings a couple of months back and to my surprise I actually got a payout and it was $80 USD. So pretty decent for half an hour of work. I mean in my head I was thinking I probably get about 5 bucks or something along those lines just because those findings that I submitted were pretty easy to find but there we go $80 for about half an hour of work for my first bug bounty payout. Now I would say while doing code audits you're very prone to burnout and that was pretty much what happened to me when I submitted my couple of findings for those audit contests. After doing a bunch of CTFs, reading previous audit reports and actually reviewing code it really takes a lot out of you mentally. It was all very taxing and after I gone through all that I pretty much got massive burnout and did not feel like doing anything productive after work for over two months. I think doing code reviews and audits you're much more taxed mentally than compared to for example pen testing because for pen testing generally you'll be following a set methodology and at times you're pretty much just working through your methodology and just checking off one thing at a time but for actual code reviews you're constantly like deep in thought about the code and how it's interacting and all that kind of stuff so literally every second that you're working on it your brain is going a million miles an hour but anyway, there it is on the all-time leaderboard with 79.47 US dollars. Now getting this payout sort of actually got me out of the burnout, as in it sort of gave me a bit of motivation to, oh, actually, maybe I should try a bit more in this bug bounty because I thought this was probably only going to be a couple of dollars for the bugs that I found, but it actually turned out to be a pretty decent amount for the amount of effort I spent on it. So I do plan to spend more time on this bug bounty platform moving forward just to see how far I can push this. Now for a roadmap of how I intend to get better at audits, C. Michelle, the ranked one guy on this platform, actually made a blog post on how you should approach learning audits. The key takeaway that I got from this blog post was to get better, you just keep reading more code and exploit postmortems to get better. So basically, reading past audit reports, participating in contests, and then rinse and repeat. 
Now the approach that I'm going to take when it comes to reading these previous reports is I'm going to work my way up from the low findings up to the mediums and the highs because I find low risk and non-critical issues at my level pretty easy to digest at this point and kind of I can have a takeaway from each finding that I read while if I jump straight up and start trying to understand the high severity and the medium risk findings some of them sort of just go over my head at this point and actually that contributed a lot to my massive burnout for the last couple of months so my approach is going to be understand all the low level findings and the gas optimizations from each report try to find those findings in current code contests and then eventually i will get more familiar with the various patterns in solidity and then i can move on to medium and high level findings as i sort of progress from there now i'm not sure if this is the best approach or not but at least this way i won't get burnt out by trying to internalize and understand the high risk findings too quickly and i will be able to make slow progress in terms of recognizing more patterns in the code so that's code arena interesting bug bounty platform with pretty decent payouts and very beginner friendly in my opinion if you want to get into smart contract auditing